Welcome back to Squawk Box. Billionaire Ron Perlman is in sell-off mode, unloading hundreds of millions in art, his private jet, and several other investments. And Robert Frank joins us with a closer look at Perlman's dwindling fortune and what's going on behind the scenes. Robert. Good morning, Andrew. His net worth has fallen by about half from $12 billion to about $6 billion in just three years. He was famed as a corporate takeover artist, but now Ronald Perlman is selling. Now, his holding company, McAndrews & Forbes, is selling many of its stakes in portfolio companies, including AM General, that's the maker of Humvees, his stake in Scientific Games, a Flavors Holdings Company, and Retail Me Not, that's an online coupon company. Now, on the personal side, he is quietly shopping around his private jet, his 257-foot yacht, and parts of his massive art collection that valued at well over a billion dollars. Sotheby's is auctioning off a Miro for more than $28 million. And this Gerhard Richter is about to come up for sale for $18 million. Now, bankers say Perlman has a large network of loans from Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and several others. Shares of Revlon, that is by far his biggest holding. They have fallen by over 70%. Just this year, the company has about $3 billion in debt. Now, Perlman's saying these sales are not a sign of distress, but part of a planned downsizing and capital raise driven by what he calls the unprecedented economic environment. He says, I've been very public about my intention to reduce leverage, streamline operations, sell some assets, and convert those assets to cash in order to seek investment opportunities. So, Andrew, he's suggesting here that he's raising cash in part to buy something else, we'll see in the coming months whether he is, in fact, the buyer that we all know him to be or whether this is some kind of debt-driven asset sale. Back to you. What, Robert, what, what are you hearing, though? Because obviously, you know, I, I can't go a day or two without having some conversation with somebody who wants to mention Ron Perlman and, and raise the question, <laughs> why is he really selling? Is he really downsizing? Uh, is he going to use that money, as you said, to buy something? Is he going to use that money because he, he owes money to the banks and, and therefore is selling things like, like an airplane, like a boat? Yeah, I agree, Andrew. I hear bankers speculate and talk all the time. He is such a source of fascination and intrigue on Wall Street because he's such a huge part of that, the whole ecosystem. Now, you know, you and I know he is the ultimate financial street fighter. You never want to count out Perlman. He's so creative when it comes to capital, when it comes to using debt. On the other hand, I have never seen or rarely seen a billionaire sell on the business side assets and the personal side so quickly without there being some kind of debt pressure. And, and you talk to folks on Wall Street and they say there are a lot of sort of interlocking leverage loans where let's say you've got the shares in Revlon pledged against McAndrews and Forbes debt and who knows how the art is leveraged and where that money is being used. So um, you're right, a lot of speculation and, and we just don't know yet um, where the money is, who holds the debt and how serious it is.